Hello everybody, welcome back to SL Smart Mind YouTube channel. Today I am here with a different video. Today I am going to show you how to build a simple Space Invaders game on scratch. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> So let's get started with our character. So you need to delete the sprite, the cat sprite, and paint a new sprite. So actually we're going to paint our blaster cannon or shooter or anything. So just pick the square and draw triangles like this. Okay, we can just even minimize the size like this. Bring it to the center. So to make it more beautiful, we just gradient it like this. Okay, I take light blue, light blue. Okay, like this. So okay. We are done in painting our blast again. So we'll just name this sprite as Blaster Cannon. Okay. Now we're going for recording. So first go to events. When green flag clicked, we need to show. Then we need to go to X. Let's say about like minus oh negative seven to negative one hundred eighteen. Okay. Okay, it's like here. So then we're going to grab a forever loop. Then go to motion. Take this set X. Go to sensing and you'll find a mouse X. Grab that one and put it here and join this. Okay, we'll test this. So here it moves where the mouse goes, so it follows the mouse pointer. Okay, we are done with that. Now, our second step is to paint our missiles, or our, to paint our missiles. So we just draw a circle. While you draw, press the shift, and draw then it will be a act a actual circle the correct measurements and let's keep it on the center just make it small 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 okay now let's code this go for events and when green flag clicked we need to show and we need to go to blaster cannon so go not to go to random passion we need to go to our blaster cannon so we'll just name this as missiles okay it goes to our blaster cannon and now we need to shoot this. For that, we need to go for repeat until we need to take the touching mouse pointer 
you take to make it touching edge then we need to change one okay let's see that so it just goes so when this reaches this the edge we need to hide this Right, so we'll see that. Okay, it hides. So now we need to do is to make clones. So many of them. So to do that, we need to go for control and scroll down. Then you'll see this like this, when I start as a clone. So if you use when I start as a clone, you should use all these three. Create clone of myself and delete this clone. We should use all these three blocks. Now how to use these three blocks? First we need to create clones. Let's say a uh, green, green flag clicked. Hide. Grab a forever loop. then an if then statement go for sensing if mouse down then create clone of myself and we need to wait we say 0 0.5 seconds this is really important the wait 0 0.5 seconds so after doing this we need to take this whole thing and when I start as a clone so we just get rid of that we need to get rid of the hide for that we need to just delete this clone so we'll see if it works okay it shoots okay let's the plastic can and it oops sorry keep it on the center okay now you see it shoots so we'll choose a backdrop go for it because it's pacing where does we choose paint can I choose the stars okay okay now our blaster is working so now we need to choose our enemy for that we'll just choose a sprite so I'll choose the taco sprite so you can choose any of your enemy sprite so we, you can even upload so we will re rename the taco as enemies okay and reduce the size like 75 okay that's enough 75 now we should start cloning this make, make sure it comes down it's like boom and when, if it hits it should go boom like that so let's start coding it. When green flag clicked, we need to go to X and say like, okay, minus one seven seven. And Y. 177 should repeat take a repeat until and go for motion and we see this Y position this just pick that and go for operators is less than 
Okay, we need to keep the y position here and if the y position is lesser than you say negative 180 we're going to put this we need to change our y position by negative 5 okay let's see okay it falls down okay so when it reaches the edge of the y less than 180 we need to just hide it until now so until now only once it will come okay it disappears now we should create clones so I'll go to control let me just say when I start as a clone create clone of myself and delete this clone so our first one is to create clone go for one green flag clicked we need to hide it we just grab this one and we take a forever loop ok I'll just minimize forever we need to create clone of myself we'll just wait one second this wait one second is really important so we just remove this whole part and join it when I start as a clone and take this delete this clone here until now so take another when I start as a clone and wait until you go for sensing touching not mouse point we need to say missiles wait until touching missiles so after touching missile we need to delete this clone so let's see how it works okay we need a show block oh take show block and just do it okay now okay boom it works so when it hits the missile it disappears so okay now we just need a scope to so go for variables and make a variable name scope okay when green flag click we need to set my scope to zero and if touching missiles we need to so you need to change scroll by one so if y position is less than 180 we need to change scroll by minus one so now let's see okay the scroll increases when the enemy is hit so we'll just let one enemy Go. let's just see okay decreases why you might notice it just falls on this area so to do it fall in any of this area we go to operators and take the pick random one and type one negative 177 to 177 and put it near go to X so now let's see yay it falls okay you will see that nothing happens when it falls on the blast we need to do something so for that we just paint sprite with the text and we'll just take what and we make sure you take it in the pixel and type game or
Okay, we'll just for now keep this game over spite and go for a blaster cannon and take our costume and duplicate to okay. okay now we need like a destroyed man so for that we'll just make some draw some circles red on here 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 some brown ones here okay now we go for the other one okay now we go for blaster cannon and Cody. So when green flag is clicked, switch costume to costume one. Control and wait until me touching say enemies and we need to broadcast a new message broadcast new message game over okay so after broadcasting we need to switch costume to costume 2 and wait 0.3 seconds. We just duplicate it. And then we need to switch this to costume 3. So, okay, let's go to the game over. When green flag clicked, we need to hide. We need to hide. Then when I receive go for events, when I receive game over, we need to wait point six seconds and then we need to show And we need to stop everything. So go for control then. Need to stop off. Okay, let's see whether it works. So, okay, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Okay, it works very perfectly. So I hope you learn how to make a simple and very easy space in Redis game on Scratch. So if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and share. So until I see you in my next video, bye.